Welcome back, today I'll install 999 channels mode to this Quenching UVK5 radio. This one has HF mode version 5 already installed. Video is here. The mode comes in the anti-static bag and it is only one component, this 8 legged chip with larger memory than one installed. You will need programming cable and Windows computing device. Let me show you, this radio has only 199 channels, so let's start. Guys, if you ever need printed circuit boards, even 3D print your design for affordable prices, visit PCBWay.com. They have New Year special offer with up to 50% discounts. Do not miss out. Link is in description below. You can access or even be part of their community projects and benefit from work of others or from your own designs. Once again, PCBWay link is in description below. Here are steps you have to do. I have already saved my channel with chip and now I am in IJV version 3 program. Yeah, it runs on Windows so I have to visit my grandma in order to access one of these systems. Here you have to read calibration and save it. Now I can replace the memory aka chip. Let me tear my radio down. As you see, this has additional RF cable that I have to carefully disconnect and also desolder the speaker wires. Next, pop off display like so and unscrew 5 Phillips head screws holding PCB on alloy frame. Unscrew nuts on power knob and antenna connector. Best is to use tweezers. That shit is not tightened properly anyway. Now separate two pieces. And here it is, 8 leg chip that will be replaced with one slightly better. Best way is to cut off all 8 legs of the chip one by one, like so. Here is that sucker. And now remove remaining pieces of chip legs and also clean contact pads for new chip. Speaking of chip, here it is, 8 legged beast that will provide more EEPROM memory. Gently solder all 8 legs on, be careful and take your time, as you know it is small. My soldering is horrible, but it looks like it will work. Let me pop PCB back in frame and screw 5 screws back in, following by display and nuts. Again I will tighten these with tweezers. Make sure to subscribe. Next I will solder on speaker wires and pop on my RF IPX connector for additional antenna. Chuck on that sneaky plastic frame and radio can be put together and pressed together. Test all buttons and let me fire it up. Yep, still works. Open program and hit write firmware. Choose x3.bin firmware. X means for modified radios. All links are in description below. Make sure that radios is in flash mode. You know, hold push to talk button prior to booting up. Few seconds later, new firmware is installed. Now hold function 1 button and fire up the radio, as we need to reset it. So menu and under reset choose all. And yes, we are sure. Now wait, this takes like 2 minutes. Please subscribe. After radio reboots itself. Now we go to program VX3 and write only calibration and done. Put your memories with chip back and here it is, radio with 999 channels. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.